Welcome back. Today is our final day um, on the subject of robots. So yesterday we had learned that they use robots um, to go into places that would be more dangerous for people um, be because in the, for in this example they would sent them into a power plant that had, was damaged. They sent this one into a volcano. Um, they've sent robots that explored um, a desert in Chile. So we are going to finish up. Um, we need to turn to page 13 is where we left off yesterday. To get around this problem, scientists begin by programming a robot to only deal with one very simple task, such as rolling or walking on many legs. Then they add other simple programs one by one until the robot can do many different tasks su successfully. This idea began with robots that imitate insects. These tiny bug bots move and react just like insects and can send signals to each other. Several companies have built robot dogs as expensive toys and companions. The, these dogs bark, move, and perform tricks. More advanced models can recognize their owners' voices and faces and respond with actions or flashing lights. Sony's robotic dog, Abo, can learn people's faces and play games. Robot Intelligence True artificial intelligence, or AI, involves human-level intelligence. It involves the ability to learn, react to a new information, and make decisions independently. Scientists are still working on creating computers and robots with real AI. Some robots are able to adjust their own programming as they gain experience. This kind of machine learning allows robots to improve the way they work over time. Sophia is a robot that uses artificial intelligence to talk with people. Do you know smart cars are also known as self-driving cars, use many of the same technologies as robots. Smart cars use cameras and sensors to sense what's going on around them. Their computer brains calculate the best direction and speed to travel safely. Mechanical parts steer the cars and control their speeds. The future of robots. Robots are already a big part of modern life and they are becoming more common every day. Robots work in many factories, vacuum people's homes, and mow their lawns. In some areas, robots deliver meals from restaurants or fly through the sky carrying packages from online stores. As robots continue to improve, we can expect them to keep changing the way we work and live. This one says sidewalk delivery robot, lawn mowing robot, flying delivery drone, and a vacuum robot. And I have seen this type of robot on my way to Deke when I go to school. Um, there is a house that early in the morning is being mowed by this type of robot. And that is the end of our story about robots. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, your question of the day. How are the robots in the book the same and how are they different? So just give me one example of how are they the same and one example of how they are different. We will see you next week.